go. All right, you should be good here. Go ahead and turn it off. Hi, I'm Alan Anglo from A Plus Racing. Hey, welcome to Thunder Hill Raceway. We're down here in my garage, and uh, this is home of the 25 hour of Thunder Hill. And I wanted to show you today the differences between the different style of spec Miatas. We use three different versions, and I want to show you what the three versions are. So uh, basically, we start off with the first generation, and we always start with an N. I don't know why they call it N, but they have about six different generations. So they have NA, NB, NC, ND, and so on. So I want to show you what the three differences are real briefly, so in case you didn't know. All right, what I have right here is I have an NA16. And what that means, it's the first generation, which was from 1990 to 1993. And the engine is a 1.6 liter. And one of the ways I can always tell 1.6 is if I look at the cam angle sensor, it's on the left-hand side here, and the uh, coil pack is on the opposite side right here. On a 1.8, on a it's opposite, and I'll show you that in a minute. So this is a 1.6. This is a great platform to start off racing. The problem that I have racing a 1.6 car is that, well, you know, I'm a finely tuned athlete and I can't make the weight. So the weight on this is 22.75 and I can't strip the car light enough to get me competitive in a 1.6, all right? And the horsepower is kind of minimum, like 100. If you got one that puts out 120, you're doing pretty damn good. Torque is around 100 pounds. So light kids coming out of Cardi, man, they're screaming fast in these cars, but the car only has to weigh 22.75, all right? First generation, NA, 1.6. Now let's go to the other side over here. Got a couple spec Miatas here for you. So this one here, this is an NA18. Now one way you can tell an NA is by the pop-up headlights. Yeah, the old 80 style right there, okay? So this was made from 1994 to 1997, and they didn't make a Miata in 98. So this is an NA18, which means that it has a 1.8 liter engine. So if I take a look, at the cam sensor and the coil pad on this one, you're gonna see that it's in the opposite direction. All right, so here's the cam angle sensor right here. And then the coil pack's on this side, the opposite of the 1.6. Now, this is a 1994. So 1994 and 1995 are great years for Spec Miata because we're still OBD1 and we can make adjustments to get a little more power out. The cool thing about the, the 94-95 NA18 is that you don't have to run a restrictor plate. So in an NA or an NB18, the one I'm gonna show you next, you have to run a restrictor plate in the intake and that cuts down on how much air gets inside the engine and knocks the horsepower down. That makes this car competitive with that car. So that was the idea, okay? So the cool thing about the NA18 is that it's 2,400 pounds, but no restrictor plate and you get that engine there go up to 130 horsepower okay so way faster but no restrictor plate so this is kind of the one that everyone's kind of going to right now you know but the rules are always changing all right let's go to the next gen all right so this is an mb you can always tell an mb that you know it's got it doesn't have the pop-up headlights it's the same exact engine as the na18 uh, pretty much the same except this is obd2 so it has a second generation of computer system. That's the first generation. You can tune it, you can do stuff to it to make it faster. This model here, I'll go ahead and show you under the hood of this one here. <clears throat> okay, so NA or NB18. No cam angle sensor at all because it's OBD2 coil packs on that side. It's basically the same engine as that one, 130 some odd horsepower, and not a lot you can do, not a lot you're supposed to do <laughs> to make it legal to race this car against a 1.6. 2,400 pounds, okay, is what the car has to weigh. This is a car that I, one of the cars that I drive. I like driving an MB. They handle a little different than the NAs. <laughs> NAs are a little quicker steering. I like the little slower steering. Um, they don't rev as high um, on the NB, but I really enjoy racing an NB, but I've raced them all. Anyhow, I just wanted to bring that to you today. Thank you for uh, tuning in on my video on YouTube. Hope you have a great day and, and uh, talk to you later. <laughs>